this is a good year. 700 by 15, six ply tire. I knew that. I didn't need to check. I need it cut in half. Why I need it cut in half is none of your damn business. But nonetheless, I need it cut in half. And that involves very special tooling. In this case, a tire cutter halfer knife made by General Electric. Now you know it's good because you can see right on it that those are genuine stainless steel tungsten carbide blades. Of course, tungsten carbide is, is known for its flexibility and stainless steel is known for how it gets all the, the, the grass stains out of your laundry and together the pair of them that tungsten carbide honest when's the last time you saw a tungsten carbide as flexible as this so anyways this is the tire cutter in half or apparati er, and I'm gonna cut that tire right there in half but in order to get in there we gotta get in there because while the tungsten carbide tire cutter half or apparatus sir does a fine job of tire cutting and halving. Uh, so far it's done a really crappy job of cutting its way through the tire in order to get inside the tire in order to cut the tire in twain. So I gotta get in the tire first and then we can cut it in half. Just like grandma used to make. Okay, that's stupid. <laughs> it is a dual saw. This is one of the earlier generations. Um, you can tell because it was shipped to me without its freaking foot pad. And the company uh, wanted me to prove that basically uh, all of Earth since the beginning of time uh, wasn't trying to scam them. And I was never able to prove to their satisfaction that it dead should have come with the foot pad and instead I've got just this little L bracket here. So that's why you've never seen me use it. But I think this might be the perfect tool for getting into the juicy giblets here. How can I do this without losing a finger? That way. Oh, look at that. Full depth penetration. Okay. Now, this, this was just regular steel with regular carbide. <laughs> it's for peasants. I need to get out the stainless steel tongues and carbide blades of our, was it Sunbeam? General Electric tire cut in half or earth and we're gonna get into that crack and by god we're gonna make magic oh it's gonna be beautiful now I'll draw your attention to the sleek ergonomic handle of the stainless steel tungsten carbide tire cutter and half -er. it's got this wonderful huge trigger that's just it's placed in a great way to accidentally turn it on when your fingers are are, are near the cutting bits so anyways, the blades, right? Tungsten carbide. They have this little, I believe its technical name is the, the slip slidey doohickey. Kind of like high school. Oh, and they go together like that. And then the two of them move in a parallel circular tendonium tangent of awesomeness. You slip these inside this little schnucker end right there and they sort of clip in place and they sort of don't. Then you grab right near the hole, gonna lose your finger when you accidentally do the thing. And then you can insert, oh so gently, inside the tire. Now this tire here, Goodyear were kind enough when they made this thing, you know in the 1940s, to put this center rib and that's to help future generations cut these things in half. 
Oh, baby. And it's just occurred to me that I, I never actually tested whether this will work. So, uh, here we go. Oh, that's so nice. And then we begin. Okay, so it's not happy. I'm going to say it's probably just a little performance anxiety here. And possibly a little wedging can make her feel a little better about this process. There might be a flaw in this plan. I don't want to go into too much detail, but maybe the problem is we're going in dry. Oh. So. Sure glad these are stainless tungsten carbide. Who knows what would happen if it was just regular stainless steel. Uh, I do want to praise the good folks at the General Electric Tire Separator -er -er Machine Works. Uh, they made a beautiful tool, which, you know, it had a, a wonderful feature where the actual trigger, you know, the whole cut your thumb off trigger system here, patent pendant, I'm sure, um, breaks before you actually finish. That way, you can enjoy the fine hand craftsmanship of your forefathers. It's time to get out the vintage tools. Enjoy the connection with the ah, scrub. Ah, and done. Look at that. It was simple and easy. No problem for my handy dandy stainless steel tungsten carbide tire separator and tourinator. Holy crap. I think the blade just broke off. It's quite a machine tire separator and, and I just literally went bzzz. it was like wielding a lightsaber Yoda himself came down 
Oh, cut tire you will. Yep. There you go. That's how to cut a tire in two. Super easy. It's actually relaxing. This is the best I've ever felt cutting a tire in two. I have never felt any better than this right now. Isn't it? Yeah, the magic's gone.